not to pry and ask which of the um, the girls you were you know you were talking to, but did she give details about some of what she's been processing in these six months? Well, between all the all the different families, I think both girls are talking. You know, they're talking to somebody. Um, they, one might be talking to me, one might be talking to someone else. So um, I think we have a good understanding of uh, some of the details that haven't been made public, but um, we're just holding it close to the chest and we're, we're making sure that everything goes through the court processes and everybody gets a fair shot and everything is uh, done in the right order to um, mothers and fathers that really don't have any idea how this should work you know we never seen ourselves in this spot and we just we're just living one day by day there's there's no playbook you know for this and it's a very exclusive club i often say very unwelcome um exclusive club that that you're a member of steve you are um i don't know where you get the strength and the fortitude but you were there when cobra made that first appearance in january are you planning to be there on Monday. Yeah, I'm going to stick to the message that uh, this family will do everything in its power to make sure that if this is if everything rolls out and we know for a fact with the evidence that this is the person, then he's got pit bulls after him. So we're going to be there at every moment, analyzing every piece of data, going through everything to make sure that it is the right person and uh, we hold them accountable. And that, you know, that that kind of pressure has to come from more than just um, one parent. It has to come from all of us, and and that's what we're working on. Um, I know on Monday, I won't be the only uh, parent down there. There'll be other families there, and um, I think it's a moment of uh, solidarity that we're 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 getting we're getting more and more people active, and um, you got to give people time to figure out how they want to respond and how they're going to just wake up and deal with an everyday situation. But they're all starting to get their power and their strength and they're all ready to go to court. And uh, I think that courtroom is going to get more and more crowded. Do you, do you mind me asking if you know um, what other parents are planning to, to be there Monday? I don't want to put them on the hook in case they wake up that morning and they don't feel like going. Um, but uh, I know of two other families that are are planning on being there. Um, we're organizing even the, the path that we get down there together. So um, anything can happen and everyone has the ability to um, decide to change their mind, but um, I'll be there. I won't be changing my mind and we'll have uh, at least nine seats of us there. And I hope that um, some of the other families feel that um, the more uncomfortable we can make this room and the more that we can represent each person that um, was robbed of their their lives, the, the, the best we can do. I mean, it's not gonna fix the situation, but uh, there should be some accountability when you take people that are special. We've been showing some of the pictures of the scene uh, of the crime, which will be featured heavily in this trial. Um, I know the university was gonna keep you updated as to the plans to demolish 1122 King Road. They said it would happen during the semester. Now the semester is over. Have they kept their word at the university and kept you informed about the plan for the demolition? And as well as that, have all the parents been able to pick up their, their kids' belongings for the final time? We have not been able to pick those things up, which we would understand that that might be very close to the moment that it's down, that it's going to be torn down, like maybe equipment's moving in. So um, we've pushed back a little bit just because uh, different parents have seen different uh, court cases and have tried to get themselves says, you know, self-educated on what we're going to go through. And they've found cases where... Um, important evidence had been discovered and they went back to the crime scene and actually uh, it clarified things for, for different um, jury members. I don't know the ex exact story, but I just know that that's a reality been, that has been uh, spoken to me. So we pushed back and said, hey, let's wait on this. 
until uh, at least everybody's on the same page, including the defendant. I want the defendant to be able to say, there's nothing in that house that's important to us. I, I want the truth. We want the right person. Um, so we have, we have every motion to sit back and say, Hey, we can slow this down. We don't have to rush anything. I understand it's a little difficult for the community, but, um, we have to come together and we have to do what's right for these, these young adults that, um, we're put in this situation and, uh, we're the only voices that they have. So we've, we've asked to slow that down and they've respected that. Steve Gonzalez, it is, it's good to see you again and, and talk to you again. I can't thank you enough for, for volunteering to, to be on this program with us. And I know that a lot of the people who are watching right now, if you can feel it, they're sending their love to you just like we are as well. Um, and, and to, to Christy and the kids as well, um, our best to you. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.